Hello, this is David with entry number 1014 here in the apartment once again. Pretty much from for the time being, I'm going to be recording these solely in uh, the apartment just because um, I feel like I can hone my thoughts a lot better inside rather than paying attention to the road and various other things uh, outside. Uh, so for the time being, inside, um, for the foreseeable future, I should say. Uh, one thing I wanted to talk about today, and this will be kind of a part one, and part two will be, I don't know, sometime later. And it's this idea that I think I've been living my life by, but I've recently heard. Um, uh, and so I'm, that's kind of, it kind of put it into kind of a crystal form. And... Um, Basically, in this idea of discipline, sorry, freedom through discipline, or discipline through freedom. I think freedom through discipline is better, though, makes more sense. Basically, that means that in order to achieve freedom, you must first discipline yourself in a way that you can say with no equivocations or unequivocally you can say that you know yourself you know your body you know your mind you know what you're capable of you know what you're not capable of um, I think a lot of people these days kind of have a similar idea but but where is the follow-through that's the important part that's the only thing that matters is the follow-through you can read, you know, Eckhart Tolle and all these modern day kind of snake oil salesmen or soothsayers or whatever you want to call them. But if you're not following through with what you're learning, what you're hearing, what are you doing? You know, you're kind of just wasting your time and money. But you can do something as simple as discipline yourself and that's it you know and it can come in stages it doesn't have to be all or nothing it can be you do something as simple as I will do 10 squats <clears throat> seven days a week at a certain prescribed time so 10 squats at 9 30 a.m. every day and then you don't give it a postmark you don't give it an end date you just say that's how it is and then guess what that's how it will be and there is no there is no uh, chance you don't allow yourself to have excuses you will do those 10 squats every day at 9 30 no matter what just do that just keep doing it and doing it and, you know if it gets too easy up it to 20 and you just keep on doing the same thing and it, this is called discipline you're tired, doesn't matter, you do them. You're sick, doesn't matter, you do them. It's only 10 squats, you can do 10 squats. You just keep doing it, and you keep doing it, and you keep doing it, and you just get that, you just hone the edge ever so sharper. Every pass, every day is sharper, sharper, sharper. And then one day, you turn around and you're just doing them. You're just doing them habitually, automatically, reflexively. You don't think about it. You're just doing it. And then one day you, you accidentally skip somehow. Maybe you're taking a long airplane ride and you miss a day. And then you feel this kind of emptiness that you get from failing to meet expectations. And this can be done. The same thing can be done with anything in life. The same kind of principle of once you master or once you have a kind of schedule and you retain you refrain from breaking that schedule ever you get to learn a lot about yourself you get to learn what you're capable of what you're not capable of sometimes people set goals that are too lofty many children want to be astronauts but less than one percent of all children get to be astronauts it's just a fact and Everything in life can be like learned from just spending the time, taking the time, disciplining yourself enough to maintain a schedule, to maintain a habit. 
whether that be working out, whether that be some eating thing, whether that be learning a new skill, especially learning a new skill. Say you want to learn how to shoot archery, or you want to learn how to play chess, or you want to learn how to cook. If you do these things and you put 100% of your effort into learning how to do this, it will improve your life. I, I promise you. I promise you. The problem with most people is that they don't have follow through. It doesn't matter what decade. It could be in the 1940s. It could be in the 1720s. It doesn't matter. They don't have follow through. They fail because they don't discipline themselves enough to put this activity above everything else. I think it's a kind of a side point, but something else that is very important in life is punctuality. And if you cannot maintain punctuality, if you cannot maintain a time, you know, being on time to appointments, doesn't matter how trivial they are, if you cannot man maintain these things, you know, that's a huge sign. It's a huge sign if you're always late. It's a huge sign of your personal character. I don't care if you give a million dollars a year to a charity. I don't care if you're a nice person. If you can't be on time to things, that's a huge character flaw, in my opinion. Huge character flaw. It speaks multitude of tomes about someone's character if they cannot maintain strict schedules, timing schedules. And um, that's just one part of discipline, one part. And if you are able to discipline yourself, you know, say one month I'm not gonna drink any alcohol, and then do it, do it. Doesn't matter if there's a party, your birthday party, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Don't do it, discipline discipline and once you are able to really maintain this kind of strict personal discipline self-discipline everything else is so much easier everything else is so much easier it just falls into place like dominoes it just falls into place I know this is kind of vague but this is a part one part two will be someday on down the road when I have more time to think about it but uh, it's something that I think is very important and should be known to people is just everything you can do almost anything in this life with discipline self-discipline it's, it's just all it takes all it takes is your ability to understand when to say no and yes that's it that's it Alright, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk with you later. Bye.